quick video to demonstrate a few chores that I do with Twitter. And by chores, I mean regular tactics, things to continuously improve my results, driving traffic to my website, engaging followers, keeping them interested, developing my reputation, and building my email list. One thing that you'll notice is on my Twitter page, you'll see a, a score here. It's a 71, right? So what that is, that's a clout score. A clout score measures your influence online. Uh, it's not really your influence uh, in the real world, right? So you may be a really famous author, um, and but you're new to Twitter and you're just getting your feet wet. Your clout score may not be that huge because you don't have a lot of followers, you don't have a lot of connections yet, okay? Uh, but the benefit of clout score is that it's, a, it's basically a metric personally in terms of how effective I am on Twitter, how effective am I in getting the message out, right? Which, which this cloud score is a measure of. It's from one to a hundred, hundred being the highest, most influential, you know, you say something, people listen. One is, you know, you might as well just quit, okay? Um, so, you know, hopefully you're around 30, 40, 50 range. That's a, that's a good area to be in. Now, uh, the, so that's, a, that's a, a metric that I use, just one metric for myself, you know, hey, am I using Twitter the right way? How are things going? When I see my clout score go down, it means I need to look at it and see, wow, my network isn't responding as well as, I, as they used to. How can I fix that? What are the problems? And I can start, uh, you know, going down that road. The other use of clout, though, is with um, a tool that I use called Hootsuite. Okay, so I'm just going to switch over and we're going to take a quick look at Hootsuite. Uh, if you haven't used Hootsuite before, it's a really powerful tool to manage multiple social media sites, including analytics and a whole bunch of other stuff, right? But the chore that I do with Hootsuite is fairly simple. My goal is to build up the responsiveness of my network so that, uh, you know, they get the message out. So when I put out something like an email marketing fundraising course, people are more likely to retweet it because I've taken the time to promote their agenda which is a long-term strategy for Twitter is to be using it to seek to create value for others and naturally people will uh, promote your agenda when you bring that agenda to the table like I have here. But anyhow, going back to Hootsuite, what I do is one chore that I do on a regular basis is I go through people in my network. They're, uh, say, a nonprofit professional, right? So I have a couple of lists here that I've created. These are mentions here. I'm not going to really look at that. Um, but, but this is a Twitter list that I created called N10Buds. These are basically just people that I've met at N10. I value these relationships. I want to promote their agenda. And what I'll do is I'll simply scan down this list and so, for example, Nonprofit Bridge, uh, um, this is from Idealware. It's a great article, I'm sure. Um, I bookmarked that earlier anyhow, right? So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read that article later. And But for the meantime, while I'm doing my chores, I want to go, okay, great, Nonprofit Bridge. I'm going to auto-schedule it. So Hootsuite has a feature for auto-scheduling, right? And auto-scheduling is uh, basically a set of times that Hootsuite determines that are optimum to post content to your followers. So I don't even have to think about when to publish this thing. I just click on auto schedule. And then I go to the next one and I look at, let's just scroll down and look at, this is a good friend of mine, Michael. I'm going to retweet his stuff. I trust that Michael's going to share something of this quality. I click on auto schedule. If you notice, you know, I was talking about cloud score just a few minutes ago. There's a filter in all of the streams here, which is really great. Basically what you can do is you can filter your feed by cloud score or by keyword, right? So if I click on this icon here, it's the little magnifying glass, I see cloud score. I can also uh, filter by search, okay? So I can search for all these people in my network who are actually tweeting about Facebook. The other one I like is cloud score, where you can kind of dial this up and really focus on the people that you've met in person, but um, the people that also have a good influence on Twitter, so that when they do retweet your stuff, your, your message is going to be spread further, right? So in other words, like really focusing on the folks that have a halfway decent cloud score. The whole idea is to fill up a queue and to always have my queue topped off on uh, Hootsuite, right? So these are scheduled to go off at 310 and at 545, times that I don't even have to think about. 
Okay. Now on buffer, the other quick chore that I do is I go into buffer and of course all this stuff is queued up because I'm surfing around the web. I have the little buffer icon here in the browser. I just simply click on that and I can just click on add to queue. Okay. Now the benefit of buffer, of course, is that you do have a schedule that you have some control over. So I have a schedule here for Twitter. I have a, a certain schedule on Mondays, Wednesday, Friday, different one for Sunday, Tuesday, every Tuesday, Thursday, right? So Sunday, you can see, is a little bit lighter. Tuesday, Thursday is a lot different from Monday and uh, Wednesday and Friday, okay, just to have some variety. And what I'll do on a regular basis is I'll, I'll go in here and I'll change these times around, right, just to keep things a little bit interesting and lively. So I switch around the schedule a little bit, probably once a week. I just kind of go through here and I pick other times just to experiment a little bit and um, change it up and that's it. It's going to automatically save. I don't have to worry about anything else. Sunday, I usually try and keep Sunday kind of open so I might even delete one of these times and just say 9 p.m. You know, the night before you get back to work, here's some really interesting work-related information. Okay? As a, as a time saver and as a chore that I regularly do is I go into analytics, right, and I look at most popular, I look at most retweets. Um, and by the way, I think I'm using the pro level. This is definitely a paid version of Buffer. But really what I'm concerned about in terms of, you know, the content itself is really most retweets. What's the stuff that's being retweeted the most? Okay? And I see this one right here. How nonprofit pros use Twitter. Eight retweets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuffer this. Okay, so I add that to the queue. This is a guaranteed hit that I can re-queue, right? So that is it, and I hope that was helpful.